we will, we will rock you. Oh, 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 oh my God. Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a really nifty duplication bug that has potentially existed within the game ever since comparators have been first been able to pull a redstone signal from the item frames behind them. Uh, and this is actually a glitch that I found from another YouTuber, another video, so be sure to check out the link in the description below if you want to see the original source of where I found this. But I wanted to show it to you guys anyways because it seems like a lot of you picked up interest from uh, me posting about it on Twitter. So let me just go ahead and let me launch right into this here. So essentially the way this duplication bug works is you have a couple of items set up in this configuration and I'll get into the actual specifics as to how this works in just a moment. But you go ahead and you set up the items just like that and then you go ahead and you sit here and you wait. You just kind of wait and then you won the grand prize and everything explodes out of the actual area right here. You can pick them up. They're actually real items. You know, you can I can throw them on the ground. I can pick them back up again and I can actually use them. So yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Let me go ahead and let me toss this stuff down on the ground here. And yeah, you can see how many extras I got because I had a stack of diamonds in my inventory before. 64, 128. Yeah, I, it's something in the realm of like 400 items get duplicated. It's pretty insane. But not only do items and the item frames get duplicated, literally anything will any any entity will get duplicated so arrow shots in the air will get duplicated so you won't actually see them but listen very carefully i will be absolutely silent so just listen to the arrow shots so do you guys hear how many actually hit the ground there that was a lot more than just three. So that was like dozens and dozens of arrows all hitting the ground at the same time. And these are actually phantom arrows, so they don't actually exist. And that happens a lot with these items as well. If I go ahead and I toss these on the ground and then I go ahead and I actually save and quit here, we're going to get a whole lot of lag and then it's going to duplicate a whole lot of phantom versions of the items and this is definitely where this bug can get very confusing and very lag inducing like you can see what's going on with my world right now look look, look at the lag here six frames a second it's it, not even six frames a second we're down to four here so yeah but thankfully uh because this glitch is controllable to an extent let me go ahead and let me break this item frame right here uh, and then let me break that one right there. And this will hopefully fix the world. So let me just go ahead and let me walk over here. Pick up all the items so they don't all duplicate. And let me just slowly walk over there. Okay, so those are all phantom items. Let me go ahead and let me save and quit here. And then now I'm going to get into how you guys can do this for yourselves. But I do want to give you guys a forewarning. Uh, do not do this in a world that you care about at all. Because it will, again, duplicate every single entity when you do it correctly. And uh, you, can't also, you can't do it in spawn chunks, which is just kind of another tidbit of information. But yeah, don't do it in a world that you care about because it'll duplicate everything within that chunk. Even stuff that's underground if it's in your overworld. So anyways, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and let's just launch right into this here as to exactly how this works. So essentially, if you guys want to do this for yourselves, you want to set up this setup here so that the comparator and the item frame exist on different chunks. Specifically, the way that I get it to work is that if you guys actually take a look at my F3 menu here, you'll notice on the second area of text on the left side, you'll see a word that says chunk, and then you see three numbers after it. Right now, it's the numbers two, four, and six. So, uh, and then you, you'll also see below that, it says what direction you're actually facing. This bug will only work if the item frame itself is facing, like if you look in the direction that it's facing out in, it'll only work if it's facing east or south. So if I were to place one facing south, it would work just fine as well. North and west are not observed to work. So yeah, what you want to do is again, you just place the item frame on the border of the chunk and uh, it will cause the glitch to happen. Now, how do you know you're on the border of the chunk? Well, take a look at the first number on the chunk there. So you see that there is a number zero. It says zero, four, and eight. If I take one step to the right, that changes to a 15 because now I'm existing on a different chunk. So just make sure that this is on, you know, chunk with the number zero. That first number is a zero. And then this block right here is on 15 and it should work just fine. But 
as I said before, this also works with like any and all mobs as well. This works with any entity whatsoever. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what kind of shenanigans going to happen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up myself a little bit of a lava mode right here because I really need to make sure this is going to work properly. And, uh, or at the very least, I'm going to be able to kill all of the mobs that I'm about to spawn here. Let's go ahead and let's just do this up. So, bam. Let's go ahead and let's do that. It may be uneven. Actually, my OCD bugs me enough where I care that that's uneven. Okay, bam. There we go. So, there. So, now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to spawn ourselves a cow right here. It's just a cow, you know. And I want you guys to pay attention to a certain number. I actually need to find it on screen. Um, let's see here. Where is it? Okay, so where you see on the very, very top, it says E and then 2 out of 4. That's the entity count. Pay attention to that. It says 2 out of 4 are loaded right now because the other 2 are off in some other direction. So there's currently 4 entities loaded on the map. So let's go ahead and let's change that, shall we? Let's begin. So... If the mobs themselves exist in the same chunk that the item frames exist in, they duplicate like crazy. So now if you go ahead and you take a look at the E count, there are 484 entities now. Let me go and let me pick up the spare items and it drops to 479. But this is about to become a no joke thing. What we're going to do is we're going to very quickly destroy that block and then we're going to save and quit out of the map because I want to be sure that these mobs get killed. So we're going to duplicate those 470 something mobs over we're going to square them because they're all going to duplicate like 400 more times it doesn't work perfectly so we may not completely lag out but you okay so let's see here let's take a look okay uh, our entity count it, i think it moved up into the 900s or something for a moment i'm not exactly sure but yeah so okay we didn't we didn't glitch out the map too hard let's go and let's spawn two cows a cow and a baby cow that actually works perfectly to show some differences with the examples here so this should spawn about a thousand in total entities, which will lag my game pretty badly. Okay, we're at actually 1,400 entities. Okay, and then there we go. So those all burn up. Let's go and let's pick these up again so that we don't cause massive lag spikes with that regard. Let's go and let's save and quit out here. And I'm not going to destroy the block yet. I just want to see how many cows will spawn on their own. So we're at 1,400 entities. Okay, uh, we might actually be hitting some kind of hard cap here. Oh, oh, we are at 2,000 and now we're down to, let's see, what are we down to? I think we're, okay, we're at 900 now, which is kind of weird. Let's, a lot of these are like phantom cows, so a lot of them aren't really real. It's really weird, and sometimes the bug doesn't, like, work perfectly. So let's see here, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, we might lag out quite a bit from this. Okay, oh god! Okay, our entity count is 9,544! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, kill all the cows! All the cows must die! I don't think I've ever killed more cows faster than I'm killing them right now. Okay, 9,000 entities. It's over 9,000, clearly. Listen to that. Listen to the sound of 9,000 cows dying all at once. Okay, meow, 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 meow. It's, it's, my game is crashing actually from this. Oh, oh, and the entity count is going down. It's at 8,500. It's pretty nuts. Oh, let me see if I can face away from it and assist with the lag a little bit. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, 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 we're, we're getting down there. Okay, this is pretty bizarre. So yeah, you can see how this can break maps because if there's even like five mobs that exist within the chunk. Oh, baby. Whoa. Why am I bouncing? Why am I bouncing as if I'm on a slime block? This is weird. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I think the game thought I was holding the space bar. I think that's what just happened there. Yeah. This is pretty bizarre. Not gonna lie. And now my game is operating a little bit slow. The actual server side of things is uh, bugging out. Look at the RAM usage on the top right. Look at that. Uh, like you just ha you just can't help but admire that just a little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So I think what we should do at this point. What is one other entity thing that is actually an entity that we should make here? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a quick look here. I am on the latest snapshot, so you guys do know that this actually works. I'm gonna do this with a minecart. Yeah. Let's do that, because that's an entity. Let's go ahead and let's do that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll end off the video here. So let's go, let's see. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for this. Let's go ahead and let's use the powered rail so that it doesn't move on its own. 
Bam. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. This should get pretty interesting pretty quick. The game may actually fail to load because of how bad the RAM usage is right now. But we'll give it a try anyways because, you know. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's check this out here. The game is definitely lagging. Okay. Let's go and let's see if this worked. Oh, dear God. It did. Look at... Look. Just, 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 just look. Okay. Yeah. Definitely not a joke. Okay, guys, I have one final idea. I need to I need to make sure this works. So let's go ahead and let's take an activator rail. I think you guys know what I'm about to do here. Let's take an, take an activator rail. Let's take minecart with TNT. Let's duplicate it. Yeah. We're doing this, guys. You better believe it. Let's see what happens when we explode 400 pieces of TNT all at once. All on one spot. Okay, redstone torch. Let's go and let's do this up. Oh, God. I think I actually failed to pick up items over here. Oh, okay. I don't think it mattered much. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. I can't get away fast enough. <laughs> and it actually didn't explode anything. Oh, God. It exploded the ground underneath, but not anything around it. Oh, my God. Okay. This game is funny. Okay, uh, let's see if we can actually make some real explosions happen here. Let's go and let's get rid of this. I need to try that one more time. This is just way too much fun to mess with, guys. Okay, let's go and let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and let's save and quit. Start up a new world. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, that didn't actually work, duh, because I got rid of the contraption. Uh, let's go ahead and let's fix that. So let's get ourselves on the edge of the chunk border. Bam, bam, let's build it up here. Okay, let's do that. Let's go and let's get our comparator here, which is nowhere to be found. Okay, comparator. Let's do that. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's actually do that twice over. Bam. Just like that. Y you guys thought I was a menace? You guys haven't seen anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's do this up. All right. Here we go. This is going to get fun real quick. Okay. It's going to get fun real quick, guys. Okay. I'm ba backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this random little demonstration. Uh, it actually it looks like it created a perfect, not, not a perfect sphere, but proportional to where the explosions were. These are actually perfect. I think it exploded every block possible. So yeah, fun times. Hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.